Hi guys, it's Mrs. Pies. How are you? So this week we have been talking a lot about ways to make 10 and missing numbers. But this time it's going to be a little different. This is the trickiest little skill out of the whole week and I really, really need you to practice this lots and lots and lots because it can be tricky. I'm going to try to help you understand how to make it easy and how to make it fun with our learning about getting to 10 and different ways to do that. So let's use some Unifix cubes. And I have a board with a bunch of questions that we're gonna try to solve together. You can do this with me if you have two of two different colors, 10 of each. So I have, if you look at this, I have 10 red Unifix cubes and 10 green Unifix cubes. You can use 10 green Legos and 10 yellow Legos, 10 red Skittles and 10 yellow Skittles. You could use any kind of a, maybe jelly bean since Easter was just a little while ago. If you have 10 of each color, you just need two colors with 10 in each little group, okay? And that's the, gonna be the best way to learn and understand and play along with me. Okay, so here's my first question. Brandon, why don't you come around here? My first question is, I have the number six. So I'm going to always start with my red Unifix cube. So I have to put six together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's the start of my train. I have six red Unifix cubes. Here is the question. How many green Unifix cubes do I need to add to my train to get to 10? That's the challenge. So I have six red Unifix cubes. How many green ones do I need to add to my train to get 10 all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, 10, done, because I got to 10. How many, we have six red, how many green did we add to our train to get all together 10? One, two, three, four. Six plus four equals 10. Six unifi red Unifix cubes plus four Unifix cubes equals 10. All right, let's do another one. I'm going to start with two red Unifix cubes. All right, there are my one, two. Two red for the start of my train. I have to get to 10, so let's figure out how many green Unifix cubes do we need to add to the red train? And we'll stop at 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Stop, we got to 10. So we know that we had two red Unifix cubes and the rest of the train was green, but how many green Unifix cubes did we add to the two to find 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We added eight green Unifix cubes to the train to equal 10. Eight, eight green ones. So we know two plus eight equals 10. Do you see how we're playing this game? Let's do another one. All right, I have five here. So I'm going to start 
with my red Unifix cubes again, and I'm gonna start my train with five red Unifix cubes. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Five red Unifix cubes, and we have to finish our train and stop when we get to 10. Let's figure out how many green Unifix cubes we're going to need in order to get to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, stop, we got to 10. We know we have five red Unifix cubes plus one, two, three, four, five green Unifix cubes. So we know that five plus five is another way to equal 10. So far we know six plus four equals 10, two plus eight equals 10, five plus five equals 10. Let's do one more together. Isn't that interesting that there are so many different ways that you can add Unifix cubes to get the same answer? 10, let's start with seven now. Seven red Unifix cubes. Let's do it one at a time. One, two, three, remember we're getting to seven, four, five, six, seven. All right, we have this seven Unifix tr cubes for our train. How many more do we need to equal 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Stop, we got to 10. How many green Unifix cubes did we add to the seven to get to 10? One, two, three. Oh, so we know seven plus three also equals 10. You are welcome to try all sorts of other ideas. I'll write some down and maybe you can solve them yourself. You can try these at home with your family if you would like to. Zero plus something equals 10. Nine plus something equals 10. Let's do three plus something equals 10. And let's do eight plus something equals 10. All right, kiddos. These are the questions you could try to answer yourself. If you're doing this by yourself without a parent, that is really awesome. If you're, when you're done, I want you to show it to a family member, a mom or a dad, to see if you were doing this the right way. But if your mom or dad or your family is sitting with you to help you out, that's just as great. Have fun, I hope you enjoy the learning and do the best that you can. Love you guys, see you later.